Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change a P-trap drain kit on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and a small flat blade screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair we will need to pull the refrigerator far enough forward that we can access the lower access panel at the back. So if it's connected to a water supply we'll need to turn that off and disconnect it. We'll also need to disconnect the power. Now once we've got your screws removed for that back panel we can then slide the power cord through that slotted channel on there, tuck that out of the way, lift the panel off and set it aside. Now the drain is located in the center at the back here and runs down into the drain pan. Now to make this job easier, you may wish to disconnect this wire harness. So just take your flat blade and go ahead and release those little locking tabs on the side. And then unplug that and just tuck that down out of the way. So we'll need to remove the old drain and it is attached to the base of the drain pan and there's a little catch on the back side of that that you need to depress with your flat blade screwdriver before you can release that. So we'll fit the screwdriver down into a little opening there. You'll see that tab. Just depress it while pulling up on the drain and then pull it out and set that aside. Now next, you may have this little duckbill valve attached to the drain outlet. We'll need to pull that off and discard it. And then just make sure that that opening is clear No instructions in it. And we'll take the adapter that came with the kit and we're going to fit that over that spout. And we'll need to push that all the way up until it is flush with the ceiling in this area. Uh, take a little bit of maneuvering because it is fairly tight. And again, we want to verify that that is flush to the ceiling in that area. And next we'll take the new P-trap drain kit and you'll note that it has similar end on it that the old one did. That will snap onto the fitting in the drain pan itself. So push that firmly down into place. And then we need to fit the top portion of it over this drain adapter. And again, we need to work that fully into that opening so that the top is sitting flush on that ceiling. We can then reconnect our wire harness. Make sure the locking tabs are engaged. And then we're ready to put the back panel on. back panel on, you'll note that the line cord has a little slot on either side of that grommet and those need to line up on that back panel so that it sits all the way down in place. Tuck the bottom of the back panel inside the opening and then reinstall the retaining screws. Now with the back panel reinstalled, we're now ready to push the refrigerator back into place and reconnect the power. We're now ready to reconnect the power and the water supply and our repair is complete.